Peeps, welcome. Um, I want to say something to you today. You know, yesterday um, I did a cow food video. I met her on the street. I don't know what happened. The video, the, not the phone, not the video, the phone. The phone just stopped work. Just stopped work. But um, nevertheless, I'm still here with you with another bone. I, I'm just showing you my palm tree. Nice palm tree up in the air. And I hope you can hear the birds in the background chirping, chirping. I don't want to talk too loud around them. I want you to also enjoy the chirping of the birds as well. You know? But yeah, I'm doing another video. I'm here with you for another video. So guess what happened? Now I got delayed too long. But now I got put in a too much suspense. Yeah, well, I guess right to it. So, you're up now. So, tell them now, I'm going to do some curry goat and roti. Yeah, um, curry goat and roti. Uh, no, I'm not going to make the, make the roti. In another video, I'll show you how to make roti. No, I think I've done that before. Yeah, I'll show you guys how to make roti. Yeah. So, if you want to learn how to make the roti, please go and check, log on to my, my website. Um, uh, Chef Gordon's Kitchen um, and I think it is I don't remember what's the title of it but I think I've done something um, with roti how, how you make roti before you understand I don't want to say friends thanks for joining me I know at um, 105 subscribers please 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 share with your friends share with your family you know introduce them to my channel let them know I'm doing wonderful things over here and um, they can join me and enjoy nice regular Jamaican style cooking all right so yeah come with me now let us go inside the kitchen where you will see me performing great stuff peeps you saw this look you saw, you saw the sun is shining on my forehead what it look like man yeah can I give me like a pretty look yeah look hot don't it look so side view yeah pretty yeah anyway forget about that um yeah so here we are now inside my kitchen um i'm hoping that this video oh yeah 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 here am i here am i here am i so here am i now so i'm going to um try and see if i can flip the camera so you may see what I am about to do next inside my kitchen. Lock up. All right. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can flip my camera. Also, I need to put this on. Flip. Flip. No. I take my picture. All right. Let me get back to you let me turn the camera around and then get back to you okay friends so i'm back here am i so what i have here with me now is my 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 mutton it is already seasoned so the only thing is left to um to add to this is the curry all right um so and then again you know i i like to use um i like to use i like to use um Dutch pot, you know, for those who know the Dutch pot, yeah, we like to use the Dutch pot, you know, to cook my curry in. I believe I get a better flavor and texture out of my um, Dutch pot. Yes, it might take a little longer time, but nevertheless, you know, I'm from the old school. So, you know, I like to do things old, old, in, the, in the old some way. All right, so, um, um, yeah, let me get back now. So, here am I. Uh, I'm using my... A better pot curry i believe better pot curry is a better curry to use but look here you have the indian curry and if you like indian curry use your indian curry but just for me i i like i like my better pot curry so presently now i'm putting about um about a, about a teaspoon of curry on it and then i'm going to so that mix it in yeah, my hands are already washed. If anyone chooses to ask that question, 
my hands were washed sorry i didn't show you that part of the video uh, my apology friends but remember always wash your hands before and after work all right so that is important even in your own home practice practice to wash your hands all right practice to wash your hands all right so this is it all right so i'm going to um put on back my lid put on back my lid over it and then i'm going to add back now to i think sorry friends i only have one hand to work with so here all right let me show it um let me go over here turn this turn top like this so you can be all the step of the way interacting with me while i'm inside my kitchen um okay all right friends remember always to wash your hands always wash your hands properly all right so i'm trying to get rid of the curry from my hands as well here yeah and uh, if that doesn't work, keep going again. Then use a scotch bright. Alright, so wash your hands. Try to curry can stain your fingers as well. Alright, and stain your nails, but you don't want to, to have a dirty nail, alright? all right so i'm heading over here now where i retrieve my hand towel uh, yeah to remove this water from my hands all right good and dispose of it in your trash bin so what we're going to do now today so we're going to we're going to um, get some garlic, All right? We're going to get some garlic, and we're going to use a piece of the ginger to go into our pot. So this is what I'm going to use to do my curry in. Uh, let me see this, this here. So, all right, come back down now. Come back down now to the table and just see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is to actually squeeze the garlic in that way it helped me to remove the shell from it. Um, for those who didn't get the chance to watch my video in terms in in, in in proper way of um cutting and handling this stuff you know you have a first on here and you have to get this wash all right so i wash my guard my ginger same thing and squeeze it out or what you can do is to use your grater my grater is in the next kitchen all right so we're going to finely cut our garlic i'm going to do the same thing with my ginger uh, you have some persons who don't want to taste the ginger in their meal when they're cooking it so you can um you can do it this way all right just just shred it on the small side of the grater and it make it easier for you but if you don't have a grater like myself well, i have a grater but it is just not close by now so you can do this all right i'm hoping you've seen all of that but I'm trying to multitask and get them to get this done. So now we're going to move now over to our stove. And once again, I'm going to sit you down as close as possible. <clears throat> so 
so you will be able to see uh, this thing is giving me trouble come on come on come on come on come on sit sit all right i think i have it all right good that's us all right so i'm going to try see how fast i can work this so this is my pot so what i'm going to do now is to add some oil in it so as a piece i'm not leaving it out of this all right i'm trying my best but let us see exactly what i'm doing so i add um about a tablespoon uh, not a tablespoon of oil but probably about a serving spoon of oil that amount of oil i add inside it. So what I'm going to do is to have this stay here and hot a little bit and then talk to you. Alright? Alright, so in the, it's very important for you to know, right? If you're working um, in a, a restaurant or if you are cooking for say um, you got a you got a job to cook for somebody and you want to ensure that you impress the people that um, very great uh, greatly or uh, uh, nicely you understand what i would advise you to do is that prep your meats from the day before let me repeat prep your meats from the day before and let me tell you why when you prep your meat a day before you allow it to sit and marinate do not put it in the freezer because the freezer doesn't allow it to marinate as how you want it to the free, I believe the freezer stopped the process from, 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 from marinating as well you want it to. But when you put it in a chiller or you just rest it at the bottom part of your regular fridge, let it, because you're going to use it by tomorrow. You understand? And it marinates and then you get the right flavor, the right taste that you want out of your, um, your meat. But remember, use whatever season that is liking for you that tastes good for you or whatever your customer uh, prefer you use those and ensure use a lot of your ground season your garlic your scallion your onion and ginger use a lot of that when you're cooking all right let's get back to the cooking all right so here we are our pot is well hot all right our pot is well hot so now I'm going to add in my garlic and my ginger. You don't want your ginger to burn, right? So yes, I remove it from the flame and then I'm going to add my curry to this. Add a little curry to this. Alright. Let it just stay and burn. You let it slightly burn. And then you add a little pimento seed to that as well. Then you stir. Um, some persons will use like a natto another seed to give it a curry look or some person will use a uh, turmeric all right for their curry look if you use turmeric you won't have to use it you won't do it like this all right but another you put another seed in the oil and then you will get the curry curry flavor, um, look from it as well all right so now we're going to pour our money inside of this I just stay just like this for a bit. I have to stay like that for a bit. So if you have a, a big cover, pot cover to put over it to use it, but I don't have one right now. So as I said, I have two different kitchens that I function from. So I'm going to just rest this right here to let it sweat a bit and then we'll come back to it. 
All right, here we are again. Uh, here we are again now. All right. So this is a how I want it to be. You know, I want the season to kind of cook into it. Uh, yeah, I hear, I hear you, I hear you. Yes, yes, it look nice. Yes, thank you, thank you. So what I'm going to do now is to add a little water to it, just enough to cover it, and then I'll be using my pressure cover cooker to to finish it off. All right. Uh, you want to know the time? I'm going to time it. And then when I time it, then I get back when I, I'm on, I, I, about 15, 20 minutes. All right, it should take. Okay, so uh, the time on the, the bee on the mutton is no more than five minutes because of the nature of the beef. Some nature of the, um, the ox, the, the goat, some um, goat will take longer than that. Um, and some will take lesser time so no more than five minutes I actually um, pressured it for so now what I'm going to do now is to, to light up my stove and then put it into a smaller container for it to cook all right, so this is our the pot that it was in. So I'll move it from that to this. All right, so I'm going to add this now in the pot along with this, and then add back this in it, and then let it finish cook. Um, I mean, um, persons do it differently, but the 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 who I'm actually preparing it for there are certain things that they they don't eat um, so I have to be careful of how I'm actually preparing their meal yeah um, so with this now I won't be using any more oil so what I do is to try to let me take you with me try to use a little of the oil base from this to see how best I can maintain the flavor um, still all right so what I'm going to do is to kind of slightly skim off a little of the oil from this because it have it already have um, the flavor in it so I don't want to use too much I just want a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just to to add my carrot. To add my carrot and my Irish. Alright, so I'm going to add in you now my season in this. And then I'm going to put some water in the same container here. And I'm going to add just a little bit or half of water from the container. cover my pot because I want my vegetable to cook I don't want it to cook too soft but I just want it to still um, um, be a little bit crunchy yeah 
I want it to taste a little bit crunchy, all right? All right, so our pot is there. Um, um, I'm doing its thing. So, all right, let it stay there. I'm, I'm doing its thing. There's something else I have to do. So let me take you with me. Ah. Right. I want to go down by the next kitchen to get some stuff. Well, not really to get some, yeah, to get some stuff. Alright, so, yep. Yeah. Ah. Ah. As I said, friends, um, I wanted to share the video with your friends. <laughs> Um, and let them share with their friends and like the video. All right, we have the key. All right, friends, guess what happened now? Uh, this part of the video, we have to go come back to you. All right. Ah, uh, see you in five. All right. All right, I'm back with you to finish up my curry gold. Yeah, people, I'm singing, you know. I probably should call myself the singing chef. Oh, that's all. The singing chef. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. All right. So here we are. Adding in my goat in this. I'm adding in my goat to my pot. And then I stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Ooh. No, that doesn't sound good. Oh, that don't sound good. All right. All right, so peeps, I'm going to turn up my fire. And then I'm going to put you all the way up here so you can um, continue to, to look, to view from this side of the fence. Hold a second, let me double check. Double check, double check. Okay, good. I'm up. I'm working. I'm clicking. Good. All right. All right, so we're back with our board. All right, so um, I want to sprinkle a little bit more curry on it. Just a little bit. Just a little, yeah, 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 that's amount. All right, so good. That's a little bit. All right. You see how my Irish whew, the heat. So my Irish stand up and my carrot stand up. That's how I want it to look in the plate when it is being served. I taste. All right, good. It is quite fine. So it's gonna stay there. I'll simmer down. I gotta reduce my heat again. All right, and um, five minutes, and then I'm gonna come back to it and put a little tip of <clears throat> body to it, and then we're good. So five minutes. All right, peeps, I want to show you something. So because I'm using flour, I add a little curry to it. So when I'm mixing it, um, and then to add the the the, um, the thickening the thickening to it. So the curry it don't let the curry get white so add a little um, curry to the floor so when i mix it then the color will change from white to, to curry looking um, color so when i'm adding that now to the curry um mutton it won't let it get white all right guys but still enough people i want to tell you something still enough real real yard yardy style of cooking a goat um Outside of having our Irish and carrot, just make some spinach chewy night. Trust me. Just make some spinach and chewy night, and you're good. You see that, people? 
it don't get white all right all right and then my irish we kind of help give it a body as well but i don't want my irish to mash out too much all right so this is a little bit too thick for me so i have to add a little water to this a little bit too thick i want liquid i want juice in it i want some juice in it i want some juice in it all right peeps all right so this is my curry mutton whether you want to call it curry goat or curry mutton it is curry anyway you take it all right so about two minutes two minutes just two minutes and then we're good All right, just two more minutes. Wow, see that, people? See that? I'm done. I am done. So that's it, people. That's it for my my curry mutton. So I like for you to do to like, share, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, make a comment give me a thumbs up tell me what you like tell me what you don't like yeah just share it with the world people wherever you have loved ones send it to them and ask of them to subscribe and watch the video to the end all the way to the end all right so guess what up see you